I don't know about you, but um, I am really struggling with patience right now. <clears throat> I recently shared on my social media on Instagram that it feels like there's um, a lot of us are on the precipice of this big shift of this big change. And it's like <clears throat> it's like we're either waiting for the light to turn green and we're like so ready for it to turn green or we are like experiencing that the brakes are still on and we're trying to press the gas. So that feels like it's a really common experience right now. And so when I tune into the energetics of, um, of impatience, you know, of like really struggling with accepting where something is and perhaps it's not where you want it to be and you're trying to force it or control it to be somewhere that it's not or trying to make something happen that's not happening yet for whatever reason. The energetics of that is a very, um, it's a very tension filled energy um, and it actually blocks our flow. It actually blocks the flow of ease, of acceptance, of being present, um, and potentially of receiving ideas and inspiration that could potentially help the situation or at least help yourself. So today we're going to move through some of that, see if we can release some of the feelings of impatience and what comes with that frustration, anger, um, maybe even self-doubt, whatever it is. Um, we'll, see, we'll see if we can move through some of it. So if you're new to tapping, you can always check out some of my earlier videos where I describe and go through what it is, how it works and what it does. Um, and yeah, if you have something that specifically is causing you to feel impatient and maybe there's a lot of things, I know there's a lot of things that I'm experiencing that around. So maybe just pick one. And if you don't have one, you can just kind of think about your level of patience or your level of impatience, um, that you generally have, or perhaps are dealing with right now. Um, as we go through the rounds, if what I'm saying does not resonate, please use the words that do. Tapping is always done best when it is your words, when it's your experience. So when it's appropriate, um, please just use what feels right and intuitive for you. Um, so go ahead and start tapping on the side of the hand. And again, if you have something specific, please bring that into the rounds, into the tapping rounds. And if not, you can just think about it generally. So tapping on the side of the hand, repeating after me, either out loud or in your head. Even though I'm experiencing all of this impatience, I want things to happen and they just aren't. <laughs> and I acknowledge how I feel and any emotions that might be associated with this. And I'm open to loving and accepting myself exactly as I am. And keep tapping on the side of the hand. Even though I'm experiencing impatience, I'm not trusting that whatever this thing is, is going to come to fruition. And it's causing me a lot of frustration and discomfort in my body. It's causing me to feel tension and a lot of challenging emotions. And I'm open to acknowledging how I feel and accepting myself exactly as I am. And last time on the side of the hand, even though I'm experiencing all of this impatience and it's causing me to feel distrustful, frustrated, and maybe even some self-doubt, I acknowledge how I feel all of the emotions and experience that I might be having. And I'm open and willing to release some of this energy today and begin to bring a new perspective that's much more supportive. Go ahead and tap on that eyebrow point and you can 
top on either side, meridians run on both sides. Tapping on the eyebrow point, all this impatience. Moving to the side of the eye, all this lack of patience. Moving underneath the eye, I can feel it in my body. Moving underneath the nose and just allow yourself to feel where you feel impatience. Is it a tightness in the chest? Is it a knot in the stomach? Is it a tension somewhere in the body? Just beginning to notice that. Moving to the chin. I acknowledge the impact that my impatience has on my body. Collarbone, not to enforce it or make it worse. Moving underneath the arm, but to give it a voice so that I can create some space around this today. Moving to the top of the head, all this impatience. Moving to the eyebrow point. I want this thing to happen so badly. Moving to the side of the eye and it hasn't happened yet. Moving underneath the eye and the more that I feel like I focus on it, underneath the nose, maybe even obsess over it. Moving to the chin feels like it will make it happen faster. Collarbone. But what it's doing is the opposite. Moving underneath the arm. It's causing me to feel frustration. Moving to the top of the head. Maybe I'm even feeling anger. Eyebrow point. And perhaps I'm even feeling self-doubt. Moving to the side of the eye and just tapping here for a moment, taking a deep breath in and releasing. And just acknowledging where you might be feeling this impatience in the body, as well as any emotions that might be showing up alongside. Moving underneath the eye. And as much as I think that focusing on this and willing it to make it happen is helpful, moving underneath the nose, I might consider that this is actually doing the opposite. Chin. And perhaps it's making it worse. Perhaps it's blocking my energy from receiving ideas and spaciousness. Underneath the arm, that might make this thing happen a little bit quicker or with more ease. Top of the head. And maybe I can start to release the grips of control. Eyebrow point, that I believe this impatience and this focusing on whatever it is that's not happening, side of the eye, the control that I believe that it's giving me. Underneath the eye, and taking a deep breath in here, and releasing, moving underneath the nose. And as I begin to release some of this impatience, chin and the perceived control that it's giving me. Collarbone point. Maybe I can start to deepen my trust underneath the arm. Deepen my trust in the timing as to which this will happen. Moving to the top of the head and trusting that maybe, just maybe, it's a blessing that it's taking the time that it's taking. 
moving to the eyebrow point. Maybe it's working at the exact pace that it's meant to be working at. Moving to the side of the eye. And maybe that's not the pace that I want or I'm looking for. Underneath the eye. And I give a voice to that disappointment underneath the nose. And I give a voice to the fear that might be driving this impatience. Moving to the chin. Fear that it's not gonna happen. Moving to the collarbone point. Fear that it will never come to fruition. Moving underneath the arm. And fear that maybe I'm doing something wrong or that I'm not doing enough. Moving to the top of the head, and I give these fears a voice, eyebrow point, so that I can release them from my body and from my mind. Moving to the side of the eye, and create space for truth. Moving underneath the eye, and the truth is that everything works on its own timing underneath the nose. So the best that I can do is what I know I can do. Moving to the chin. And trust that anything else outside of that is out of my control. Collarbone point and that it's coming exactly when it's meant to. Underneath the arm. So I release the pressure and the control that I'm putting on myself and whatever it is that I'm feeling impatient about. Top of the head. And maybe I can be open to enjoying or at least accepting the process. So you can go ahead and stop tapping and take a deep breath in and release. And just notice what you notice. If um, more emotion or frustration or challenging emotions came up, take note of that and you can go through this again or do some tapping on your own around that specific issue. Um, and if it went down, that's great. And you can always do this again. So. I wish you much grace and ease around anything that you're experiencing, frustration and impatience around, and trust that it is coming, trust that it is working on its own timeline, even if that timeline is not the one that you want. <laughs> but trust that it's coming. So happy tapping, and I'll see you.